Yo, listen dude. Listen, we are only 900 subs away from 83,000 dude. You don't understand? Just because I had a dream of being pounded in the ass There was a time where we used to clown, right? Clown on people that would overanalyze, hyperanalyze, psychoanalyze shit, right? And pretend they didn't do it themselves and like attach labels from their analysis, right? Now that's all we got. I mean, I know that dude was kind of fucking around, right? I know he was kind of fucking around saying that I have this hat back here and I'm becoming a Kyle. But if you think about it, that's what life's become, right? Everyone's taken, you know, oh, train has a Christmas trip. He must be Christian. He's got to be Christian. Therefore, he doesn't believe in uh, Jewish Jewishness or whatever the fuck. He doesn't believe in uh, Muslim, Muslimist, Muslim, Muslim, Muslims, Muslim. I don't know the words. Okay, <laughs> shit. Well, the the, po the point is, right? Everyone, shit. Uh, listen, everyone's like, I don't know where we're at, dude. I don't know what's going on, right? I got a couch in the back. I must be a fucking porn star, right? I got a hat right here. I've got to be a conservative because there's a gun on it. I got a tree. I must I must be a Christian and I hate other religions, right? I got a wooden table from IKEA. I must be a crazy soccer mom. Well, actually, that's that's too far. Um. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy how all these things are attaching and sticking. Like, I wonder what happens in 10 years from now. Like, I, I almost want to run a show. Like, I wonder if all the streamers can get together and we can each put, like, $1,000 into the pot where there's, until it gets to, like, a million dollars and run, like, a fucking uh, Twitch Powerball. And the question is, in 10 years, what did we do today that's going to get us canceled in 10 years? Right? And whoever gets it right gets it. Like... I wonder if, like, Karen is going to be the word, right? What's going to be it? Supporting rap music that promotes something, right? Like, what is going to be the thing that gets all of us completely destroyed? Now, don't get me wrong. In no way am I diminishing or justifying, you know, the shit. You know, there's certain shit that no, no matter what culture, no matter what generation we're in, it's bad no matter what, right? There's some things you just can't, you know, say right and then there are some things you can say in private within the context of your private conversation right that's what private's supposed to be but as far as like there are some things that even there isn't okay so like in no way am i justifying those things but like the other things like shit give me a goddamn break suck my fucking cock you know what i'm saying absolutely ridiculous I mean, the only real way to cancel cancel culture, it's pretty fucking simple. And I think most of you know what it is, and you'll be shaking in your boots if it ever, if we ever found a way to do it. The way you cancel cancel culture and erase 90% of the bullshit is if every single person on the internet was attached to their real life identities. If that ever somehow happened, which would take some big brother type of shit where everyone would be fucking confined to some bullshit, right? And life would be even worse. That's the only real way cancel culture gets canceled, right? I just feel like I'm Hold on, this, this guy says banned. Listen, dickhead, what I'm saying now about matrices and 2 plus 2 equals 3 right. is not bannable. Not to mention half your fucking favorite political fucking streamers preach way more serious fucking implicational shit than me. Just because you like it and it gets your dick hard doesn't mean me preaching 2 plus 2 may equal 3 is being relative to everything else is bannable. Suck my fucking dick and get the fuck out of my channel. Thank you. Do you remember when you proposed the idea of a free squad W months ago? What do you think of the squatting emote now that it's become a widespread thing? It's become widespread in what way? I haven't seen it squatting anywhere. I think squatting should be removed. I mean, I would recommend Skushido reach out to whoever, uh, uh, to whatever site that is and get it removed. Like, I think that's a bad idea. I spent so much time removing it. That the problem is, my biggest issue I have is every single person that virtue signals and high roads me on the podcast regarding my emotes and regarding me, they allow the emotes to be freely used in whatever fashion they'd like in their own chats. And they use that as an ammo against me. It's like if they truly believed what they were saying and they, it wasn't just a hate for me that they justified, like they would ban it in their own chats as well. I've put so much effort into, like I put more effort than I think anyone else on this platform when it comes to like the usage of my emotes. So I think the squad of emotes just highly disrespectful if it's being misused. I think the role model part, we need to normalize not making people role models just because they're public figures. I think like that's one of the things we need to actually normalize moving forward, right? Like just because someone's a public figure 
shouldn't make them a role model, right? Like, or at least it should be dependent on why they're a public figure. If I'm a public figure because I go on rants and I say jokes and I talk about cock and pussy every minute, that shouldn't be a role model thing. That's going to get you kicked out and blacklisted from every law school and med school across the fucking country. Do you understand? But do you see what I'm saying? These things, these things are so relevant in my opinion, but no one accounts for them. And then as soon as these things come out or someone challenges it, everyone acts like they're offended. But it's like, bro, I told you what I'm about since day one. This is how I talk. It's not, I haven't changed it, whether I'm getting shit for it or not. Like, I appreciate the love. You know, I know what you mean. You mean like deeper in, you know, I know what you meant by role model. You meant like deeper behind all the bullshit, but not everyone can like read behind those lines. Everyone kind of goes with the surface level. So I, that's why I always say, hey, listen, don't, don't take me as a role model. Take me as you. When you look in the mirror, that's, that's you. Okay. You understand? Like in college, you can't you, like, so I'll give you guys a tip here. Okay. First of all, don't ever cheat uh, in schoolwork. Don't ever do that. It's bad. You'll get kicked out. Right. But if you know, if you don't listen to me and you end up doing it, listen, in college, it gets weird. You don't know who's smart and who's not. You really don't. In college, it's a reversal of roles. The fucking idiots that look like dumb surfer kids that are smoking weed on a daily basis are getting A pluses. While the smart kids have finally discovered life for the first time because their parents let them out and they're having sex and not giving a fuck, right? But the way you want to really tell is you look at none of their physical features. You look at no nothing. All you look at is what backpack they have. If these dudes have a strap around man purse backpack, that's the dude you go off of 100%. Anyone else, you chalk it. No way. If you got one of those in college, you're just, this dude's going to be the next president. You ever miss middle school or high school? No. I think all of us are wired in a certain way where we get nostalgic about the simple times of the old days. Whenever that happens to me for like college or something, I actually sit down and I think of the specific things in the day. When you think about it as a whole and you just think about, oh, I miss waking up and just having the class, seeing everybody. It was so adventurous. Sure, it sounds fun and you miss it, but then you think about the specifics, right? The long walks between classes, fucking hot as hell, sweating in your clothes. Now it's embarrassing you have sweat stains, right? The test you had to study for, the pop quizzes, listening in class while you're fucking half asleep. Fuck that, dude. Never going back to that shit. Back in those days, there was a lot of things justified by saying boys will be boys or whatever the fuck, right? We had that conversation on the podcast when Fandy brought it up. And at the time, all I could think about was the comparison of like, you know, Tide, right? All I saw was boys will be boys and then the Tide commercial. But now that I think about it, like, it's like, in a way, I guess the boys will be boys thing, like, justified a lot more than that, right? Like, if you could pull, like, the senior or, like, the college chick while you were a freshman, you were considered a fucking G. You got to clap on your hands by your boys. You're like, fuck yeah, man, right? Like, that was, like, that time. But, like, you didn't ever realize because, like, it's not like that, you know? And I learned that in a different way, right? I learned that at a much older age when I was, like, because that idea kind of pushed with me all the way, you know, till I was older. And when I was like 21 years old in the bar scene, I ended up pulling like this, this MILF and I've like been with a couple moms before and I ended up pulling this MILF and, you know, I did some stuff with her and her daughter. It was some sick shit. When you think about it, it's not like, I mean, I guess that shit's technically illegal for her to, they didn't really hook up. I just like did it both ways and they didn't touch. But anyways, the point is like in your mind, it seems like this awesome shit but even that time when i was 21 i was obviously in an age where you know i could give my own consent right but she was like 43 and even after that experience i was kind of like i was kind of i kind of was f like hurt a little bit by it like mentally like fucked by it so i i can only imagine being that young like i think i've made comments about it before because like i haven't experienced that, that young but i remember like the things we thought because we were always so horny back then right the the air conditioner would touch our dicks we were fucking hard right but now that i like equate my experience when i was 21 with a 43 year old to like this imagining if i was 14 hooking up with my teacher like yeah i think that shit really fucks you up because we like envision this thing that like porn portrays in our heads, right? Is this awesome thing where like these older women are experienced. It's not the case, bro. Like I think at least my experience with a 43 year old man, like it's, 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 it's worse. It's worse than like hooking up with your own age. Like, it's like, first of all, for a 43 year old to want to hook up with a 21 year old, I think shows a lot of problem in that person. First of all, right. I think that's a fair, like <laughs> thing you can come to. Right. Secondly, bro, it's like, at least in my experience, the older women I've hooked up with, like they're more needy, 
like they're fucking batshit crazy. Like they want to like they have this weird envision. Like like you would think they have this understanding. Okay, he's twenty one. I'm forty three. This is never gonna work. This is just a one night thing. I'm getting some young dick. Fuck it. Right. Like right. No. They like expect you to cuddle them, wake up in the morning with them, maybe go to breakfast. Like she like cried to me saying like she wanted me to cuddle. I'm like like no. Like and then not to mention like the vagina was like elongated because she had like three kids and it's like that's not what i saw in porn like in porn it like glorified it like i was like so dumb and like i remember afterwards i was just like scarred for like two weeks i was so disgusted with myself dude i was like what did i do you know so it's like not what you think at all it's just it's very it's actually disgusting like you know like when you talk about it with your boys it seems cool and awesome but it's just not it is not like it's crazy shit bro why is it elongated, bro? Because you understand, like, a baby's head is, like, this big, right? That shit's coming out three times. You're having three babies, you know what I'm saying? That shit's gonna, you know, unless you're having some pussy reconstruction, that shit's gonna be a little elongated, right? Like, <laughs> right? I mean, sheesh, bro. Like, fuck do you think? God, dude. Damn, this is fucked up, man. Okay,